welcome to a pack with me for a cruise holiday. <laughs> Yay! This video is very kindly sponsored by Dermatica Skincare, but more on them in a bit. I thought I'd talk to you a little bit about what we're doing first, show you an overview of my packing, and then go into all the details of my beauty, my clothes, like all the toiletries, all the miscellaneous bits and bobs, my shoes, you know, everything that's going in the cases. So if you're new around here, hi, my name's Brogan. I make home lifestyle and travel vlogs so hit subscribe if you want to see more and don't miss the cruise vlogs from this trip we're actually spending two weeks on board Arvia with P&O Cruises so we're sailing the Mediterranean doing France Spain and Italy middle of June so the weather is nice and I'm really excited to be on board I've not done a two-week cruise but if you follow me for a while or you watch the vlogs regularly, you may already know that my fiance Benji and I are getting married on board a cruise next year for two months. So this feels like a little bit of a trial run doing two weeks just to see what I need and want and how often I'll get through things. I've only ever done a week long cruise, so we'll see. I'm not quite sure. Do I pack 14 pairs of pants? Do I pack enough dresses or shall I do washing on board? Haven't quite figured it out, but I'm gonna take you along and show you everything I'm taking today. Before we carry on, I also had a cold this week. I lost my voice. I was not feeling great, but I'm much better now. If I sound a little husky and croaky still, then that is why. I'm also very warm, and I already feel myself getting out of breath. Like, even just putting all this together was, like, a mission in itself. But this is how I like to do things. I like to organise it in the categories, lay it all out, get my packing list. A packing list is absolutely crucial. I could not do this without a list and start ticking it off. I love doing this in the notes on my phone or a Notion. Either one does the same thing. You can little tick it and cross it off. So this is how my packing is looking. You can see I've got all the different categories, including my tech, my beauty, shoes, evening clothes, day clothes, underwear, gym stuff. I've got suitcases pulled out, but we do have these in a larger version as well. So I think we may bring three cases between two of us. I haven't quite decided yet. My evening outfits for black tie night and handbags and other bits and bobs. So we're going to go through it all and show you each bit. So before I show you all my skincare and beauty stuff, I wanted to talk to you a bit about Dermatica as I have been using them for about six weeks now. I signed up at the end of April and I have been loving it. I'm actually a paying customer myself and I genuinely think it's fantastic. This little bottle may look small, but they are perfectly sized to last 28 days and it is a personalized formula that they are best known for solving anti-aging concerns, boosting skin glow, reducing breakouts and acne. They help with hyper pigmentation, rosacea, and melasma. And I was having problems with my skin texture was feeling really dry. I had some redness on my cheeks as well, just like permanently, and some fine lines on my forehead. Right now, I'm not wearing any foundation. I just have SPF on. I have quite a glow going on from the SPF and the sweat, but you can see my skin. In fact, I'll show you. My skin's been looking and feeling incredible ever since I started using this. So once you've done your online consultation, their dermatology team will create you a personalized formula tailored to your skin's needs that's capable of targeting multiple concerns at once. And as your skin changes, so does your personalized formula plan. This means that the team can monitor your progress and ensure you're receiving the most appropriate and effective treatment for your skin. Every journey is unique and their service is truly personalized to reflect that. They're on hand to support you along your journey and you can reach out anytime and even request changes to your formula. They'll provide ongoing support and share tips and you can upload progress pictures and they use evidence-backed ingredients that you can't get over the counter, which makes them an extremely effective formula to see better results more quickly. They also offer free digital consultations available 24 seven with a monthly subscription delivered straight to your door. And they very kindly have given us a discount, which is great because I would have loved a discount when I signed up. So if you're interested, you can get your first month for only £2.90 and your second month has 10% off if you use my code BROGAN, but there'll be a link below if you wanna check them out genuinely love them and I have been so happy with the results so far. So click the link below to start your consultation and get your personalized formula and like I said code Brogan so big thank you to Dermatica for sponsoring and I already have packed this is my first bottle I've got my second already packed so let me show you my other beauty bits that I'm taking. So the actual wash bag I got from Primark and in the bottom I've popped in some foot masks, some face masks and under eye masks. I've got some contact lenses and some earbuds and toothpicks, you know, little boring things. Shampoo and conditioner. I have face halos. I use these to remove my makeup initially and then I go in with my cleanser. So I have that and a lip balm, obviously. I have a perfume from Jo Malone, a deodorant, moisturizer, a toothbrush and toothpaste. I was tempted to bring my electric one actually, but 
but you know I also have a body cream and spray my Damasca treatment obviously a spot cream and then all of these products are for my hair so we have a mixture of curly hair products and I also threw in the nail varnish that's on my toes too in a separate bag I put in our SPF so we use sun balm I also have a brand called SVF I have Garnier Bondi sands I've got that for our face and then I have some after sun and bug spray and I also threw in some bug cream as well this is our very random first aid kit obviously there are doctors and first aid on board but these are just things that I like to pack and have with us I've got heat packs anti-chafing gel plasters shower caps which are good for packing dirty shoes a tide pen which is good if you get any marks on clothes we've got a little nasal spray we've got a bug thing that helps with bug bites a sewing kit and scissors and then all the paracetamol ibuprofen and medication we might need and then my last pouch from Elizabeth Scarlet has got all my hair things in so I've got a spray bottle hair brushes bobby pins uh, scrunchies little clips for my hair and a little hair towel as well I've actually just changed the sun cream uh, bag to this one so that's that 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 and that one that's the beauty stuff let's move on to clothes and we'll start putting them in packing cubes so if you don't know if you haven't watched my packing videos before i love packing cubes and i've talked about these 100 times so i'm uh, very sorry if you've already heard this but my favorite ones are actually from away which is the same brand as the suitcases and my mum bought me a set they're very expensive but they're just amazing i know they don't look much but they are great and they fit inside the case however I normally recommend these ones. They are by a brand called Gone X and they're on Amazon. And I like these because they're compression packing cubes. So when you have a lot in them, you can either expand it or obviously squish it down even tighter. And they have a nice mixture of sizes. But I also have this one, which I got from TK Maxx. So you can get packing cubes in a variety of places these days. This one's good because it's big. So it's going to fit my evening outfits in it. So that's the packing cubes. And then let's go see the clothes. It is so hot today, guys. I've had to put a hairband in my hair. Um, but but anyway, let's move on. So I've got pajamas, t-shirts and shorts, day dresses, evening dresses. We'll go on to that because on a cruise, I typically wear nicer evening dresses and heels and things and we have black tie. So I would pack very differently for a cruise holiday in comparison to when I went to Antigua recently. It was much more casual in the evening. So I do have a lot more clothes than if I was going on like a hotel holiday, does that make sense? But I love it, like I love dressing up in the evening. So we have our evening outfits. I've got a play suit, jumpsuit and trousers and I have one single jumper. So I don't think I'm gonna be cold by any means but I just figured just in case it's cold or windy up on the deck, I have one jumper. Um, so we're gonna start with, we'll start with the evening dresses actually. We'll start with the evening dresses and we'll put them in this big packing cube. So let me grab them. Do you need a different evening outfit for every single night of your holiday? The answer is no. I can obviously wash things and rewear things. These first two dresses I have bought with me on pretty much every holiday I've been on in the last few years. I love them. They were both from Next. They're essentially the exact same dress and they are v-neck, little sleeves, a elasticated waist and then it's a midi floaty bottom. I love these because they are not too smart but dressy enough to go to any of the restaurants. Nice and light. I can throw on with a pair of flip flops or I can dress up with heels and a nice bag. Next dress I got recently from New Look. I love it. It's again a midi dress that's got a pleated bottom. You can see my outfits in the vlogs if you watch them or I'll try and leave links to anything that's recent. This one I've worn <laughs> so many times this might be one of my most worn dresses from lipsy and i've worn this on so many holidays too it is a really lovely black floaty skater dress very old very loved and that's coming with me a perfect evening outfit this one is from hobbs that i got from john lewis uh it's a short dress because all of those oh yeah that one's short actually the rest of them are midi because sometimes if you want to go for dinner and you just want to throw on something light and cool and comfy you don't want anything too smart sometimes on those casual nights I don't know if I just want to go to the buffet or we're just having a quick dinner somewhere I don't know I just want outfits I know I can throw on this dress I bought from next recently it's a long dress it's by the brand Scarlet and Joe the fit on this is not fantastic it's got little shoulder pads and they kind of fall off a little bit but I think this will be perfect for the cruise especially for those restaurants that like I say are a little bit nicer I cannot wait to show you this dress on me like properly but this is by a brand called hope and ivy it's a midi 
nude with like pink flower embroidery detail on it it's so nice and then the last one before i do black tie is this one from phase eight if you watched my wardrobe trial video you would have seen this again i'll show you in the vlogs it's a midi pleated it comes with a little belt i absolutely love it and i think that'll be perfect for the cruise so we have two black tie evenings so i have this one from phase eight that i wore to the baftas I can't believe I went to the Bathers recently and I loved it so I want to rewear it and this one I wore to an award ceremony where I was up for vlogger of the year so I want to rewear this too green from Monsoon if they still have these I'll leave them linked but um yeah two lovely dresses that I get to rewear it's not very often that I can rewear these like nice dresses but black tie on a cruise is kind of perfect I'm not sure if I said already but we're going from Southampton so we have no luggage allowance we can bring as many cases as we want however each case can't be more than 23 kilograms so i just have to consider that which is why i think we're going to take three cases and they all go inside each other which is amazing but um i've done a whole video on my suitcases by the way they're by a brand called away i love them um but more on that in a minute let's do these day dresses <laughs> because i love a floaty skater dress on holiday i actually have a beige dress in the wash right now which i may pack as well but all these dresses you may have already seen i wore a lot of them in antigua recently i have nine and one in the wash that's too many so we need to eliminate first dress new look floaty skater dress love it this dress is new i got it from hollister it's a midi and you don't wear a bra with it and i will show you again in the vlogs i'm very excited it's always nice to have a new dress for a holiday this one is from poor moi I love their swimwear as well and I wore this on my last cruise in the Caribbean. It's kind of like a swimming quasi material kind of, um, but it's again nice and light and floaty and good if I'm sweaty. This dress is from m &S. again another easy one that I can chuck on especially on a sea day if we're running around the ship and I just want to pop on a little dress, that's a good one. I have two black dresses, one of them was from Amazon. Um, and it's basically the same one as this. The Amazon one is a thinner material. So let's get rid of that one. That was from Primark. This one's Amazon. I'll leave it linked. I've got some shorts to show you from Amazon too. But you can't go wrong with a plain black skater dress. This dress was from New Look. But I think it's quite dark colours. Good for the UK but maybe not for a cruise. So let's ab abandon that one. And then I have this dress which again is a midi. This was from m and I love the colour. The green is so nice. So I thought that would be perfect to take with me. This little play suit I got from a Stitch Fix box recently. And Et which I think is one of their own brands. It's so pretty. Look at the little scallop is it edging and it's elasticated at the back and a play suit is great because it's all one outfit like a dress obviously but you'll see that i have to wear shorts underneath my dresses so i'll show you that in a minute i also have a jumpsuit this is by editor's cut which was also stitch fix i think that's a stitch fix own brand um i thought that'd be good for uh disembarkations so it's always good to think about what you're going to travel home in or what you're going to leave the ship in and i thought that'd be good for the uk again all one outfit comfortable kind of feels like pajamas so nice and cozy for the journey home the next packing cube is for my shorts and t-shirts i really don't like denim shorts i have a few pairs i bought a really nice pair from m s recently which are fairly comfortable um but for exploring or wearing for a long time i don't love denim and so i've been on the hunt for the perfect soft pair of shorts and i found them on amazon however i ordered them in four different colors the first pair i got were these cream ones and what i can only describe to you as i ordered from the same listing the same company same size but these two are like more of a linen soft material and these ones are more of a structured cotton so they're not quite the same i don't know why but i'm not mad at it because i like them anyway so i'm taking all four pairs which may seem a little excessive but i don't know how i feel they're nice and light and i bought them for the trip so i think they're going to be really good for exploring or running around the ship to go with said shorts i have three t-shirts a green one from super dry a roxy t-shirt and a plain white one also from amazon i am going to wash some of these t-shirts i think because three t-shirts and four shorts i'm obviously going to rewear a t-shirt or two um but yeah they're the ones i have then i also have a pair of trousers these are so comfy and light and nice they're from m s 
and I just thought these could be quite good. Do I want these when I have four pairs of shorts and a play suit and a jumpsuit? Do you know what? No, I'm not going to take these with me, but they are great. I have the one jumper that says voila on it, and that was from M&S. Pajamas, I have a pair from Walt Disney World actually, so soft pair of little Disney shorts and t-shirt, and then I have a lighter strappy top and shorts from Primark. How lovely are these? I bought them recently they were eight pound for the set i have one cover-up shirt that i bought from matalan actually and i love this oh where's my pink matalan dress gone i just found two evening dresses that i forgot about oh no i want to pack these no wonder it felt like there weren't that many <laughs> i just saw matalan i forgot i've got this dress of matalan which again i wore in antigua recently it was lovely i also have this dress that i bought on vintage it's from zara and I'm not sure on it because it's got like, well, they're three quarter sleeves. I do really like it though. I might be a bit hot in it, but you don't wear a bra with it. And it's a little bit different to my other dresses. And I only just bought it, so I'm shoving that in too. As I was saying, the cover up was from Matalan. I love it. Really great for around the pool, or I can wear this with one of the pairs of shorts too. For my swimwear, I have three that I've been loving recently. So I got this black one from M&S. It's quite simple can't go wrong with a black swimming cosy this one is also no this was next i love this again i wore this recently i shared it on my instagram and loads of you were asking me where it's from i do have a matching cover up to this but i just don't think i'm going to need another one this is a bikini just to mix things up in case i want a bikini from bowden they have lovely swimwear in fact i love bowden clothes i have some dresses from there that are gorgeous and bowden is one of those brands i've really fallen in love with if you love m s and you love next you'll love bowden um but yeah this uh, bikini was from there so we've got that to pack in a packing cube as well the final clothing bits are my gym wear so i thought it would be good to take some gym stuff in case i want to go and do a yoga class or i want to work out on a treadmill i have two sets of gym outfits including sports bras this section here is obviously underwear so i like wearing these sort of bralettes that i get from primark i've been wearing these since the pandemic i really don't know what my bra size is anymore and i don't like underwire so i pack loads of those i also do pack some normal bras to go underneath my nicer dresses for the evening so i'm probably going to pack a another one of those some socks obviously and then loads of underwear so i have a mixture of my bigger pants that benji calls parachute pants if you watch the ikea video we did recently i also have some thongs to go under the dresses that need them and i have my shorts now these are what i call chafing or chub rub shorts or whatever i have two different brands snag tights and m&s i've always talked about the m&s ones and i still love these these feel like a small thin pair of shorts underneath my clothes my dresses i wear my underwear and then i wear these shorts i have them in beige and black so i've got a few pairs of those and i also have a snag tights i bought these recently and the difference of these is that they feel like a pair of tights cut up is the only way to describe them so this is what the snag ones look like and then these are what the m&s ones look look like so they are more like a pair of thin shorts does that make sense welcome to the chaos of my miscellaneous stuff so we have some sweeties and some pepsi max we are actually going to go to the supermarket tomorrow we get one liter of alcohol per person that we can bring on board so i have loved and used these magnetic hooks on almost all our cruises for the last few years and they are genius and i went to order some more but the listing was gone so i just picked another random company and they ended up being really small so can you see the size difference i'm gonna take them both but i don't know where the link is to these bigger ones which are much better for bags and coats and stuff not that we have any coats but they're better for bigger things these are going to be good for hanging smaller things i'm also going to take these pegs that we picked up in ikea we can either use them as pegs or we can hang them on the balcony and hang stuff because obviously it's two weeks so we need to make sure we're thinking thinking about that and that leads me nicely onto our other organization stuff i'm taking one pop-up laundry bag which i got from b&m i thought this would just be so much more helpful than putting everything in just a single bag like we normally would if we have a pop-up basket if it gets quite full i'll go and do a wash so i'm going to see how we get on with this i'm kind of trial running it to see how it works for our big cruise i also have these little bags we got from ikea recently if you watched that video just to hang things because in a cruise cabin everything can get quite messy quite quickly if you don't stay on top of it we have a lot of stuff you know so these we're going to hang with the magnetic hooks and put our bits and bobs in i 
know that Arvia as a ship doesn't have a lot of drawer space and that's something we're going to work with so we've ended up packing some of these we do have some I think they're called scub from Ikea we have a multi-pack but we're just going to take these for this trip just to see how we go they're basically flat pack boxes that they fold out and they are like have dividers in them so we can use them to organize our underwear obviously you could use packing cubes as well but I personally don't love living out of a packing cube because it can still get messy so I thought these would be perfect so I'm going to take those and for washing we're taking these I was recommended these for when we go on our bigger cruise I was going to take washing pods but apparently these are way better and they're called magic leaves you can get them in B&M like the range home bargains that kind of thing and I, I want to see how these are and how they wash our clothes so I'm basically just testing them to see if I like them my normal reading glasses obviously you need those my sunglasses i have several pairs of sunglasses i'll show you what i'm packing in my day bag as well but these are just cheap throwaway ones from primark honestly so i always take a pair that i don't mind potentially losing if you were to go on a boat trip or excursion never wear your nicest sunglasses because there's been so many occasions i've nearly thrown them in the sea this might be random and unnecessary but i've got a very small umbrella because i saw someone on instagram that i follow was in barcelona last week and it was chucking with rain so i haven't checked the weather forecast for each destination we're going to but it's still European countries in the summer it can still rain so I thought an umbrella could actually be kind of genius so I've thrown that in I have two sets of pens I have highlighter pens which I use to mark off things in our horizon newsletter that comes around each day to see what we might want to do each day and night so we use those and we also have bingo dabbers which we've bought on board on previous trips so I don't see the point in continually buying them each trip so I've bought those with us too because we love going to play bingo I also have some reusable straws for us which I bought on Amazon recently. I have so many of these and I use them all the time at home as well. Um, these are not the same ones actually that we have at home but silicon reusable straws are just so good for travel. I will take these in our day bag as well because I absolutely hate paper straws and they came in these little singular cases so yeah I've got three of those in case we lose one so there's some straws, a reusable bag, never know when you're going to need this. Also we'll probably chuck in a carrier bag just for like wet swimwear when the trip has come to an end. If we've been in the pool the day before and our swimwear's not dry then stuff like this. Also good for snacks and I do have a snack bag downstairs so I'll probably pack that as well. One single face mask we've been asked to bring these. Hopefully won't need to use it. Haven't needed it for a long time obviously but just in case a breakout happens on board I've got one I'll pack one for Benj too a bikini bag does the same thing obviously as the uh you know clear bags and stuff but in here I actually have towel clips these are so handy for drying towels on the balcony and for your towels on your sun loungers obviously it can be windy on especially on a sea day um and you don't want to lose your things so we always take these on cruise holidays and get them in home bargains and stuff and i also will probably pack us towels too i haven't got beach towels yet but i will take our own towels just so we know which sun lounges are ours and things like that and i have this tiny little jewelry pouch that my brother got me for my birthday it's from a brand called stackers and in here i have three pairs of earrings these were a gift from my mum and these are sort of dangly ones for black tie night so they are my miscellaneous bits moving on entertainment i have one single book i'm not going to bring more than one book because i don't think i'm going to finish reading it but it's final offer by lauren asher i also have games for for us so I'm an ambassador for Big Potato so I have a few Big Potato games I have OK Play I've got P for Pizza and we haven't played this one yet but I thought I'd bring it with us Good Face Bad Face I've got these games which I'll show you and I'll probably chuck in a pair of, a pack of normal cards as well these are my tech things so this has got my hard drive spare camera all the chargers and leads and things that we need to film our vlogs this is a Canon M50 camera I'm also going to be taking my vlog camera that's in my hands. This is the Canon G7X Mark III. A bunch of batteries for all three of our cameras because we also have a GoPro, which is obviously for water stuff. An iPad, which I've already downloaded some movies and things. An extension block. I'm not 100% sure if I can bring this or not. I'm going to just double check and find out. Um, but I do have to use these to charge all the different cameras and stuff. A fan. I do have another one in my little hand luggage bag. Oh, hand luggage. I'll show you that. My AirPod. Pro Maxes that I love. These are going to be good.
good for editing or watching a movie in bed if Benji's watching something else. Portable phone charger. I have hair straightener and a curling one from GHD. This one's Remington. Haven't decided if I'm bringing a hair dryer yet, so we'll see, but definitely got those. My laptop charger. My laptop will go in my day bag. Two different tripods. This one I got from Amazon and this is for a phone. So it has a, it's really cool actually, let me try and show you. So you press the button on the bottom and it pops out and then it becomes a tripod for a phone. So you pull it up like that and it's got the phone attachment and it fo folds out really small so it's really perfect for work and then i also have a smaller one from amazon which is for the camera so if i want to do a time lapse or film some stuff for the vlog then i have that too for my shoes i'm going to be wearing a pair of my haviana lunas these are my favorite flip-flops ever they actually kindly just sent me a pair of gold sparkly ones too but i'm going to be wearing some sort of beige gold ones taking black ones and then these are my evening outfits shoes so i've got these from lipsy these very old new look gold flats obviously they go with different outfits gold heels and these navy tommy hill figure wedges these are so great for a cruise because you know you still get that height and still feel like they're part of an evening outfit but don't have to wear actual heels they're so comfy and my one and only pair of trainers my new balance new balance classic 574 i don't know but i love them for my bags i'm gonna have a day bag which i'll show you in a second but i've got a piano cruises tote bag for the pool a bum bag from away two little crossbody bags and this one was from primark so it's just a little um day bag like picnic -y style i love that so a few different options and then the other bag i'm gonna take is this one which i've used loads it's perfect for dog walks and stuff but it's also really great for day trips i was gonna take a rucksack but i find it easier to have a shoulder bag because then i can get in and out for my vlog camera and it zips up so i can keep things safe and i can fit my water bottle in so this is by a brand called Owala, I think I got it in Target and I love it. it, keeps your water cold. And then last but not least, <laughs> these little things. So I have passports, purse, documents, little beauty pouch of bits that I need, sunglasses, a new anklet to wear, and of course a lanyard. I bought this on board, obviously. It's a Piano Cruises one, ready for our cards that will go in there. So I want that ready. And that is all my stuff. I also have this little fan and oh my gosh, it is so hot in here. As you can see, slightly different in size, but they do the same job. Love them. I don't travel anywhere without these now because oh, I just never know when you might need a little fan. The dress that I'm wearing on board on the day that we embark, I haven't quite decided which one I want yet. I'm thinking and leaning towards this one by a brand called Yummy, Y-U-M-I. And I got this again in a Stitch Fix box. And I love it. So it's a midi and I love the colours. I just thought it was very like ocean, you know, <laughs> ocean colours, sea colours. But I also have this lovely dress from Joni that I really like too. I may end up packing this actually. Um, but yeah, one of them is going to be on my body and the other one's going to get packed. So that is everything. Now we have to put it in a suitcase. <laughs> kind of dreading this bit not gonna lie don't forget that the weight doesn't matter as long as it doesn't exceed 23 kilograms oh my gosh already <laughs> oh such an overpacker yeah do you know what i'm definitely gonna need the bigger case i have a bigger version i'm gonna get i'm just gonna get it i'm just gonna get, get the bigger one i haven't actually used this yet because i plan on using it for a big cruise this is the part that is the least fun <laughs> i just have so much stuff could I condense it down? Sure. Am I gonna? No. <laughs> I'm obviously gonna pack everything I wanna pack. Okay, so it's a bit of a hot mess. I'm not gonna lie, it's not my best packing. This little case, so this is my small sort of cabin one, is absolutely rammed of just stuff. I swear it just looks like a mess. Um, this has got shoes and cameras in it. This big one has actually got quite a lot of space still. I've managed to put the bags inside of each other. It looks a bit bulky, but you know, all of my toiletries. And then on this side, I have a lot of clothes in the packing cubes. And the only other thing I really need to think about is the dresses, which I think I'm just going to have flat in the big case. So, yeah, I mean, I'd normally take a small and a medium. So I've gone up to the large and I just need to check the weight on it. But as you can see, it's got a lot of space. So I'd rather have too much space and Benji can put his stuff in there as well. I haven't got makeup yet. I haven't got any makeup. No makeup. So let's fix 
that. First of all, I'm gonna take my favorite makeup bag for travel, which is this Lily England one. It was gifted to me ages ago, and it's double-sided, so you can basically put your makeup in one side and the brushes in the other, so let's pack on my makeup. My brushes definitely need washing. There's hair all over them. Yeah, they need washing, but I've got my foundation and powder brush and I'll need a blush brush and a bronzer brush. Oopsie. I've got my primer, foundation, Clinique powder, eyebrows, eyebrow setter, Too Faced eyeshadow palette, my Pixi On The Glow bronzer, blusher, lip gloss, and I'm gonna need a lipstick, eyelash curler, mascara i absolutely love these lip glosses from uh, maybelline the lifter gloss so i'm gonna put two of those in there what else we got liquid eyeliner concealer lipstick little pair of tweezers and then i'll sort the brushes out as well also another little cruise hack i wanted to show you of just hiding our details here but when you have to print off your cruise labels get some of these from amazon they are the exact size perfect for your tags so then you know that they fit inside and they are secured properly rather than trying to sellotape them or something so yeah, I love this as a little cruise hat. I'm going to chuck in my small pair of AirPods as well because they're quite good for just sitting around the pool with rather than my big headphones. So chuck those in my bag. Laptop, I still need to use that. So that's fine. Laptop will go in. My Apple Watch, I'm wearing it. Underwear, socks, yeah, pajamas, gym outfit. Yep, yep, yep. Beach towels and the snack bag. I've been calm there. Have I got too much? Maybe. I'm going to wrap this up here. If I've forgotten anything, you can actually comment it below because I'm gonna publish this the day I'm leaving. So I'll be leaving in like four or five hours after it goes live. So if there's anything that you think I might need or any other cruise hacks or ideas that you have, leave them below. If you want to check out Dermatica, then definitely click the link and use my code BROGAN. Thank you so much to them for sponsoring this video. I'm looking forward to continuing using my lovely personalized formula and I'll let you know how I get on. And of course, if you want to follow along with our adventures, you can follow me on Instagram to see what we get up to and subscribe so you don't miss the cruise vlogs because there's gonna be a few for you. We're gonna be covering everything you need to know. So thank you for watching this video. Have a lovely rest of your day and I'll see you again very, very soon. Bye.